On November 13, 1991, an F-14 Tomcat made a landing on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower CVN-69. So, what makes this so unique then? The difference in this case is that it didn't land with its nose. The F-14 was damaged that day while flying over the Persian Gulf at a speed of about 700 miles per hour and a height of 28,000 feet. There was a loud and explosive drop in the pressure of the air. The glass from the broken canopy was all over the cockpit and some of it ended up in the pilot's eyes. The pilot didn't notice he was without oxygen until he was inhaling the surrounding air. Since the nose of the aircraft was hidden from view from the cockpit, he was even unaware that it was missing. When the pilot was unable to contact the carrier, he swiftly lowered the tailhook and approached the site of the carrier to inform them that he needed to land right now. To give him a chance to recover the jet, the admiral started turning the carrier back into the wind right away. The F-14 ultimately made a safe touchdown, but because he was blind in his right eye, the pilot was aware that it would be his final carrier touchdown. But he received surgery afterward and recovered fully.